Hello YouTube. Uh, I'm going to install this retro spec Renox uh, bike rack on my uh, 2006 RDX. Here's a uh, uh, two inches uh, hitch. So to install the part, you need to have this uh, two inch uh, rack. I mean hitch. I already installed and you can find my video about this. It's not that hard to install, just problem was that the rusted uh, bolt thread. So as if you uh, have the problem, then you might have the problem with installing this, but it's not that hard, it's just a little bit heavy. If you have another person to install, it's gonna be breeze install on uh, two inch hitch. If you already have this, then should be really easy, just few assemble. Then you just hook it up here, then you can install a uh, bike ray. And also using this bike ray, you can um, buy another part to uh, have a snowboard or ski rack together. That's why I bought uh, this part from the Amazon. I don't remember how much it was. I just, you know, put a link to it, how much I purchased it. Uh, I bought this like a month ago and today finally I have time to install this so I'm gonna show you how I uh, do this here is a part I uh, lay down uh, I'm not gonna go each one of them I'm just gonna read the instruction I'm gonna show each part how I install so you don't have to skip reading the order manuals for it so here's the two part you need to install this, the one I'm holding it, it says lower mass. So this is lower mass with a sticker set of retro spec. And use, uh, here's, a, it says, uh, what does it call? Hitch insert air shape. I don't know, it shows a dent here. I think uh, it's like this, preventing go all the way to the, go into, uh, inside when you install this into the two inches uh, hitch so pretty easy you just insert like this here then using 14 millimeter i mean three inch bolt with a 14 millimeter nut all the way to the bottom of the hole uh, i don't think it matters either you go through here and from the other side so i'm gonna do this but do not fully tighten it. Once you insert this, lower this to the away from the L shape so it goes like this. Then insert this cable tie bolt into the middle part, I think. I think uh, once here. So I'm gonna show you once I install how I do it. So I install the bottom there. And actually instruction shows from uh, inserting from both from the right side to the left side so I did it I, I followed it so I don't think it matters but you know just in case so I inserted not fully tighten it so once you installed you can just tilt away like this so you need to hold this I think uh, reason that is tilting is uh, when you insert into car when you uh, want to open the trunk for example this is the trunk side and you installed it and you want to open the trunk because uh, because of this thing blocking the trunk so you have to you know tilt away like this then you can open the uh, trunk so this is a cable tie bolt so you need to insert here then uh, using this uh, lo uh, locking mechanism to uh, make sure it holds like there so I'm gonna show you right now, okay? So, so basically, I don't think it matters from the left side to the right side. So I'm using from the left side since the cable is near here. When you install here, you don't want to do this here. You don't want to put this into here because reason is you can still move. Uh, I know it's not coming out, but I don't think this is proper way. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, putting this from this way. 
so it hold on. I just want to make sure so print like this here try to go pull out then bring this from other side and locking it this so it doesn't come out then I'm gonna move to the next step so this is assemble and I don't know you can see in the video here's a sticker side here you you uh, matching these two hole here and install two bolts there so I'm gonna do that right now and show you and they also include this uh, tool here so you can use that but since it's gonna take long time to do it I'm gonna use my own tool I think it is uh, 14 millimeter yep same thing I don't think it matters at this point using left side or right side go through the bolt so you don't want to scratch it you can just you know uh, lay on the blanket or something but this is metal part so I don't think it matters though so. I don't know you can see it here so I'm gonna insert one hole lining up there you go so you insert it here's another ball to go through it tighten it this one you should fully tighten at this point because it just helps to you know hold these two pieces together oh, the, I don't know it is 40 millimeter on this side yep <laughs> Make sure it's uh, righty tidy. Do not try to over tighten it. If you do that, it's gonna dent this part because you're trying to squeeze it into here. So do not do that. Here, other side. Okay, this is done it looks like this since it's gonna fall over Hold on, let me see let's try to lay down like this never mind it's not working so it looks like this you hold and bike goes like this and here's the problem I did it so I realized that you tilting this way, which means trunk is on this side. So make sure this goes to other side. See, I made a mistake inserting the wrong side. So I'm gonna flip it over and redo it. Then finally, I'm gonna go into the two inch hat, I mean hitch, 
to uh, install the car. So before install this into hitch, here's a rattle preventing thing, and here's a little tap thing on here. So make sure you like this. If you install on the left side, then both goes here first, not from other side to threatening it. So let me, here's the bolt. So if you install rattle on left side, then you install bolt from left side. If you do that from the right side, don't do this. This is not the correct way. Bracket on the right side, then both goes from the right side. If left side, then both go from the left side. So I'm gonna finish that. So basically you insert there and insert this, uh, what is it? Bolt thing and using the, uh, here's a pin. Here's a pin, you insert, then basically you insert is done. So let me finish it and show the final, uh, 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 what it looks like. Okay, I finished it. So as I said, insert uh, the red or preben plate into here. Then insert this last bolt and threading it. Then finally, insert this locking pin to here. Then pretty much done. It's, see, it's not moving. So I'm gonna uh, tighten fully now this. And here's a bike rack and you lift it like this so you lift it like this then tightening it to make sure it doesn't move then bike hold there this is a fully rotatable so you uh, put the bike here and I'll just from the left to the right to the you know space between the two two bicycles here so pretty much this is done uh, it's not that hard if you have a basic tool. Even you don't have that, they insert together. It's not really good tool and maybe just time consuming. So this is, uh, I think uh, I think I paid uh, like 40 to 50 bucks on this. So if you have a two inch uh, hitch at the bottom, then this is a good bike right that you can carry around and install it if you don't want it. Then you can just take it with the bottom part and put this into storage of your garage. And if you want to bring your bicycle later, you just insert this and boom, then you can just carry around this bicycle. So that's it. If you have questions, just leave a comment at the bottom. Then I try to answer my best. Thank you.